welcome back. And this time, I mean in person. Guys, what we have for you today is a little video to show you what it's gonna look like when you come back for in-person learning starting in October. Now, uh, we're gonna take you through the day in the life of a DV student, and I want you to notice some things are gonna be significantly different. Everybody has to do their part so we can come back to school safely. So pay attention to this video today, and I can't wait to see you soon. So as you're coming onto campus, and here we have, driving into the student parking lot, you're going to be greeted by a security guard. The security guard is going to make sure that you take a look at the three questions that have to be answered for you to access campus. And as you know, the three questions have to do with, within the last 14 days, have you had contact with anyone who's traveled to a restricted country? Do you currently have a fever, or symptoms of a lower respiratory illness, and of course, have you or a family household member come in contact with someone with active COVID-19? The answers should be no. Keep in mind, these three questions will be posted at each of our three entrances onto campus. Student parking lot, an entrance off of the staff parking lot, and an entrance at the bus drop-off area. And once you park your car, that's the time to make sure you're getting your mask on. And if you're walking onto campus, make sure that mask is on before you access campus. And as you enter campus at one of our three entry points, you're going to notice there are socially distanced spaces for you to wait. When it's your turn to move forward, you just move forward. Again, you're going to have to answer no to the three questions to access campus. Then, your temperature is going to be checked. If you're 100 degrees or below, you get to access campus and start your day. If not, if it's over 100 degrees, we'll take you somewhere else and we'll troubleshoot the situation. Here we're taking a stop onto campus to take a look at the E building. For you freshmen who haven't been here before, the E building is our physical education building where health classes are also offered. As you continue onto campus, you're going to see a number of sandwich boards with arrows on them. Please follow the arrows. This is a look at our A building. The A building is the Dr. Joe McDonald Auditorium, as well as some other fine arts classrooms. And this is a picture of the B building. The B building has our administration offices as well as our guidance counseling. Here we're taking a look at the stairs. Upstairs of the B building is housed our library. Again, you're going to notice sandwich boards all over campus with the arrows on them. Please follow the arrows. And there's another arrow. This must be a door that you enter. Guys, there will be doors that you enter and there, there will be doors that you exit. Please make sure you're following the arrows so you know which doors you enter and which doors you exit. All over campus, you're going to see little green arrows in the hallways. This will tell you which direction you walk in those hallways. Some hallways will be one direction, and some hallways will be the other direction. Again, a reminder, the green arrows show you which way you should be going in that hallway. Here's one where you have to make a decision. As you exit any building, make sure you're looking for the big blue arrows on the sandwich boards so you know which direction you're supposed to be walking through the courtyard. We all want to be walking in the same direction and avoid cross traffic wherever we can. So look for the arrows, guys. If you're looking to buy a lunch, you'll be able to enter the cafeteria and get in line. We'll have socially distanced markers there to show you where you can stand. Now you're also going to notice that the lunchroom is set up with the chairs very socially distanced apart. Make sure that you sit in one of the chairs all facing in the same direction and do not move the chairs. Guys, we purposely set up the lunchroom so that we separate seating in the lunchroom. Please pay attention to that. We want to remind people that if you're coming into the lunchroom, it's because you're going to purchase a lunch. If you're not going to purchase a lunch, find a place to sit outside. Please remember, when you exit the cafeteria, there's one set of doors for exiting the cafeteria. 
Again, I want to draw your attention to the green arrows that are posted in the hallways. We're all walking in the same direction. Please pay attention to the arrows. You can see by the green arrow on this door that this is, a, this is an entrance. Now, let's take a look at the classroom. As you enter the classroom, you will notice that there are desks with blue tape on them, and there are desks with no tape on them. Each period of the day will either be a blue tape period or a no tape period. Your teacher will tell you which is which, and you sit in the same seat every day. We do this so that we can socially distance everybody in class all spread out, and we can clean the desks between classes. So please pay attention. Is it a blue tape period, or are you in a no tape period? If you have classes in the H building and you need to get over to the A building, you'll notice we'll have you go in a little bit of a different direction. Our intent there is to have everybody walking in the same direction and it's kind of a big circle around campus. The point here guys is follow the arrows. We all want to be walking in the same direction. As you're walking through the A building, just like every other building, please pay attention to the green arrows on the wall. It'll remind you which direction you are to be going. Remember, we all want to be walking in the same direction. As you're walking through campus, we understand that there may be some routes that would be more direct if you didn't follow the arrows. But remember, we're trying to walk in the same direction for now, so please keep in mind your routes may be a little longer than normal. Thanks for your patience and for doing the right thing. When it's time to go home, whether you're driving home or whether you're walking home, please make sure you keep your mask on until you're off campus and not around other people. Okay guys, so there you have it. A simple day in the life upon our return in 2020. I want to reiterate a few points. Make sure that you're looking for those arrows on campus. Lots of green arrows in the hallways and the big blue arrows on the sandwich boards in the courtyard. The point is, we should all be walking in the same direction. And of course, when you get into the classrooms, whether or not you are sitting at a, a desk with a blue tape or a desk with no tape, and that stays the same every day. Guys, we're doing this for purposes of social distancing, and everybody needs to do their part. And probably the most important piece of all are masks, masks, masks. I know it's inconvenient right now, but it won't last forever. Thanks guys for doing your part until we're all back together here at DB. Go Thunder.